Howdy folks, I wanted to show you uh, this little hack I come up with because I got this cheap bike for going back and forth to work when the weather's nice and it didn't have fenders and it rains quite a bit here so and I had picked up some fenders but they didn't fit so I didn't find the right fenders because the problem is that I'd have to get fenders that have a very very tight clearance it's very difficult to get something to fit properly I know they're out there but cheap bike cheap guy I don't want to spend much money on it and then I thought well maybe I'll give this a try and maybe you can let me know what you think I was basically riding home from work and I found a 4 by 8 sheet of I think it's called Coroplast it's a um, it's an X election campaign sign for the Conservative Party of Canada <laughs> that had gotten plowed under a snow drift and I found it laying beside the road so I grabbed a chunk of it and all I needed for this was a straight edge which I used a, a level, uh, an alpha knife, um, some snips and some zip ties and a cordless drill. And what I did was basically I cut a piece of uh, three and a half inches long by two feet for here and I made a bend on it as you can probably see there's a bend which is held and the bend is held in place by a, a cable tie here and then it's just cable tied on with a little hole drilled through here and a little hole drilled through here which goes in and out the other side but this here is on a kind of a 90 degree bend but as you see most of the time when I'm riding the the wheel is like that so the splash is going to come back into this V and the problem with riding a bike in the rain is that the rain comes off the wheel hits the center bar splashes out onto your feet but with this V it should catch most of it and run it down right down right and then for the back same problem you have water coming off the wheel hitting the center beam splashing out and hitting your feet so this V I didn't actually have to have a thing to hold it together in a V I was able to jam it into the top here to create a bit of a V and then run it all the way down to the frame and it clears the wheel all the way through but then there's what's going to splash on my back so what I did is I put a little bit of a beaver tail on here and I'll just show you what that is is just a pointed thing about 16 inches long and it just slides in I'll show you slides in under the seat like so and just wedges in so it narrows out in the front just wedges it in and it just sits there so that should catch most of what's coming up off the back on the angle to not hit my back. So there's a weak point here, which is right in here. There's going to be some stuff come up, hit that. So I, but I still could put, if there's an issue with it, I could just do the same thing and remove this or mount it on the outside and put a little piece coming all the way down to join up into here. So uh, cost me nothing. Uh, it took me all of about. Uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and I have myself some, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a life hack, it's a bike hack, and it's just junk found on the side of the road. So, Conservative Party of Canada on the little cheap bike, and we'll see, uh, see how it goes in the next rain I get here. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, if you want me to share more of these little hacks and these little things I come up with, uh, let me know and if you got some life hacks bike hacks any kind of hacks, please uh, share your videos as well Talk in soon. Bye for now